what about the uh, all the homeless people or or the immigrants going to New York and now the homeless <laughs> people of New York are getting kicked out on their asses to make room for the immigrants or the yep. illegal and then there was a 93-year-old immigrant who got forced out of his nursing home to make room for migrants yes. who were living there free of charge, whereas he had to cash in his entire fucking retirement to live. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah, of these people. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And you totally America first, Mr. Biden. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, do you, do you even think he's running? He's not really even running anything, is he? He's just. Oh, he's. he's are you kidding me? He's a vegetable. He's, got nothing. he's a yo yo at the end of the string. Yeah. Somebody else is, is playing the game. He's just along for the ride. Yep. Yeah. And I mean, that's to some degree why they really hated Trump, is because Trump at least pretended, or maybe some, to some degree he was. But he walked the walk. Was, wasn't being controlled by these people. They well, just couldn't the freaking thing. handle it. Here's the thing that I have to say about the whole Biden-Trump thing. All right. If Trump can manage to get elected for a second time, it, he will now know who his true enemies are. Mm. Whereas if he did eight years, he would never got that chance if it was all in a row. So this could be a blessing in disguise in the long run. We'll see how it we'll goes. We'll see how, how it plays out. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting year yeah. and some change. Well, I personally think they're going to kill him. They're going to try. Yeah, if they, I, I, I tend to agree with you, Bob. They're, they're going to go for it. Yeah, yeah I, you know, just as a as a gambling man, I know how evil works. And if they do kill him, it's going to pop off. It's it's going to get bad. No pun intended. Mm. Chorus present company accepted. Uh, no, I, I just I, I I don't I don't I think you, you're to that they're they're to that point, Pop. They can't, they will not let this guy get in there, no matter what. You're probably right. Uh, even then, though, I mean, how American would it be if they throw his ass in jail or put him under house arrest? Because they can't put him in prison. They would have to completely up and even more civic precedent of presidents having Secret Service detail and all this mm. shit. Mm. What, what are they going to, Secret Service going to be standing outside of his fucking cell? Right. Bring his lunch from the chow hall? No. <laughs> But what if he gets elected under house arrest? Oh, that would be, be friggin so hilarious. That would be the ultimate fuck you to these swamp drinking savages. They can suck my taint. Yep. It's not right after I well. took a shitty diarrhea dump. I yeah, mean, I just think for them. I think we're getting to the point though where it's it's it, it might be too far gone, even for a Trump or something like that. I think I just heard today it's costing four hundred and fifty billion dollars. To pay for illegals in this country, yes, yep. four hundred and fifty billion correct dollars. Yeah, that's yeah, that is not good. No, mm. unsustainable. It cannot continue. Correct. So I don't know what the hell is going to happen. Yeah. Well, well, our we, we know what's going to happen. We've our been government. saying that for years now. Yeah, our government's been insolvent for years, well, and it's worse yeah. than ever. Well, what, yeah. once they crash the economy. It's a it, it's gonna it's gonna pop yeah, off. It's gonna go full tilt French Revolution 2.0. Yeah, it, it's gonna get bad. You can have so many people like, wait a minute, I worked my entire life and now I have no money. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. People who went and you know fought and you know lost limbs for this country, no pensions, but but illegal aliens can come and take your homes. Right. Right, take right. your hotels, whatever. You force force them to stay there free of charge. <clears throat> I mean, they're doing the same thing. And uh, well, you, you, I'm sure you heard about the Irish deal yeah. <clears throat> last week or whenever it was. And yep. um, those people are fucking fed up with this shit. And yeah. somebody brought up an interesting point. You know, they say about uh, you know the slave traders and this and the native people. Irish people are native to Ireland. <laughs> they're yeah. they're the they're they're the native people. Guess what? But, we were all born here. Yes. Guess what? We're natives. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's what native fucking means. So Ireland basically just got their so-called independence, what, less than a decade ago, right? Right, right, right. All right. So they've had active IRA cells operating in that country for 60, 70 plus years. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's only been 10 years. And when enough people get fed up, they're just going to kick off the IRA, change some letters around and it's gonna it's gonna pop off again. Mm -hmm. There you go. Especially if if their own government is is undermining the the own citizens of their nation. I mean, 
it, sooner or later, a government that does it using historic examples is going to face a civil war or revolution. Yeah. Well, then mm -hmm. you, at this point, you're going back to in this country. It begins with Lincoln. Uh -huh. It doubles down really hard around 1913 mm. and then kicks into full gear November 1963. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yep. And then you enter the newest phase, September 11th, 2001. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just interesting about Ireland because what can they what can they say about the Irish? They they weren't slave traders; they were slaves themselves in many cases. Mm -hmm. They've been there for thousands of years. Those evil white people. Oh, what do yeah. you do? And the government's still saying it. Well, you know, we need diversity. And Why? It's our country. Yeah, they were yeah. Whites were never enslaved, even though we have historical oh, I know. documents I, proving I, that it's a lie. Were, it's a lie. No white lie. slaves were beaten more mercilessly and killed more easily than African slaves because they were considered less valuable. Mm. Uh, yes. Yeah. And I love how these revisionist history assholes are like that never happened. Well, we actually have like the journal old. entries and logs and pictures and shit like that. Yeah, there's, they have <laughs> books of that kept yeah. logs that one went, went on for like 30 years straight. Yeah, yeah. We have well, they, proof they of that. All the people being bought and sold and all the other shit. Yeah, we have proof of that, unlike the proof that, you know, now, now you got uh, the, the blacks like, well, Napoleon was black. Blacks invented everything. Well, if that was true, then why are y'all still living in mud huts? Ooh, ooh. Just oh. asking for a friend. Yeah. If if slavery builds nations, then why is the third world not the first world? Yeah, that's that's a logical response. Well, that's because Whitey's been keeping everybody. Come on, man. You yeah. know, you know the drill. No, it's you not know Whitey, the drill. it's the man. Oh, and their new revision revision is prehistory yeah. cope is oh, women were actually the hunters in prehistoric times. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Right. Yeah. Let's um, see how many, even like the most far gone leftoid is going to look at that and be like, eh, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Now let me go re, re dye my hair purple and pink. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my Lord. <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.